Yes. Well, hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to T Tech Trab. Yes, again, that is T Tech Trab signing in with another reaction video. That's right, guys. Today we're going to be actually reacting to something different. Today we're going to be reacting to Play Date Update. Uh, looks like the Play Date people uh, put up an update for their, I believe it's a handheld uh, console. Looks like it plays different games. I've been kind of looking at it on Twitter for a little bit. It has like this nice cool hand crank on the side. Looks like they've given us an update today and I'm just going to react to it. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh. So this kind of reminds me of, uh, it's shaking him. Cool. What is that? <laughs> nice little, uh, creature there. Ooh. Wow. Look at these graphics. <laughs> Okay, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's like a big old infographic. It's got A and B's. Is it creating it? Oh man, it's, it's become the play date thing that we've seen. It's like a Game Boy, right? Got a little crank, a little gimmick, a little Nintendo gimmick there. Even though it's not Nintendo, this is a, its own thing. Ooh, I like the animation. Ooh, look at the production. Play date. I wonder how, how I'd, I'd like to see, I can't wait to see more. Hello, it's us, Hi. Panic, and I'm Krista. Panic, don't Welcome panic. Welcome to our first ever Playdate update. Hello. We hope you're doing well wherever you are. Like many of you, awesome, we've awesome, found the awesome. past year to be pretty difficult. And COVID, among other things, hasn't made it any easier to make our first ever right. hardware product. But despite what some is bumps going and delays, on? we're still working every day to bring you Playdate as soon as possible. Wow. Things are looking pretty good. Now, in case you missed our initial announcement, Playdate is this unique, what is this? tiny little handheld game system yeah. with a beautiful, high contrast <laughs> black and white screen, a black and white crank that flips out from the side What's that up with games the games can use as an analog input, and it's a whole new way to enjoy some brand new, never before seen video games. Ooh, okay. right? We've Isn't that exciting? We've got some amazing you? stuff to talk about today. So yeah. sit back, relax, All and right. let's get cranking. All right, they crank hey it. Friends, All right, I'm what's Cable, up, what's up, what's up? and I get to talk about a cool cable. new surprise thing. Hello, because, Cable. Well, I love doing that. And while it's not necessarily going to change the before. world, it's pretty cool. Are you ready? This is the first Playdate oh, accessory. Got. We call oh, it the Playdate accessory. Stereo Dog. What is this? Like Playdate, the look and feel was designed by our good friends at Teenage Engineering. What? It is a quadruple threat. That's right, four threats. First, four. it right, gives your Playdate a beautiful, cozy place to hang out when you're not using it. All right, a dock. Second. When you magnetically pop your playdate onto the dock, mm -hmm. oh, magnetic. it feels very satisfying to do this. It okay. will instantly start charging your playdate. Almost oh, like magic. Oh, charging your battery full. Cool. Third, okay. it's also a Bluetooth speaker. What? Stereo. Sick. Which means that your playdate games will sound extra good. And wow. since it's a really nice stereo oh, speaker, dock. we thought it would be cool to use your playdate stereo dock to listen to music while what? you work or say study. Okay. So we're making our first ever Playdate app, Pool Suite oh, FM. Let's go. Playdate. Now, Pool Suite is what a is collection this? of super summer oh. songs curated to lift your spirits. I'm talking and over it because I don't want to get demonetized. To your pocket or nah, 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 your nah. stereo dock. Oh wow, that looks really Finally, cool. Finally, fourth threat, and this may Sorry. be my favorite feature of the Playdate stereo dock. What does it do? It is also a pen holder. A pen That's holder. That's right. You heard me. Was and it, that means, of course, that, mean? that we also had to make our own special Playdate ballpoint pen, which will be included okay. with the dock. All right. That's the Playdate Stereo Dock Nifty. and the Cool Sweet FM for Playdate app. Nifty. And they're both coming soon. We'll keep you posted. Back this is a very niche audience, oh, but I like what they're doing. so cute. I can't wait to have like it on what my desk. Doing. So what's next? What is next? Playdate season one will include even more brand new games than we originally planned. Even more Here games? Here's a peek at the lineup for season one. What kind of games is this thing going to have, y'all? I don't know. Is Arissa, who handles developer relations at Panic. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, hey everyone, let's go. I'm Arissa. Let's talk about games. Games, Playdate games, 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 games. Playdate comes with a bunch games. of brand new games <laughs> designed expressly for Playdate. And because the prizes are always games? fun, here's a trick. A new game will be delivered to your Playdate every single week. We call it what Season it? 1. And as Chris noted, one. we lined up even more games Wait, than we Wait, a game every planned. single week? In fact, we've doubled. 12 free games, look at that. Season 1 will now come with 24 Sick. free games. 24 games! Just one game a week. We're now going to give you two games They're every They're packing week a lot of uh, So you know what you're getting here. into. We're now going to reveal the names of the Season 1 games. Mm -hmm. Be careful. If you want to avoid spoilers, maybe cover your ears. And okay, no, I don't care about spoilers. Give Are it to ready? me. 
Season if you one, guys don't want it, you skip games, two. Not necessarily in this order. What is Franken's this? time travel adventure. All right. A game Neat. about a nap loving robot who just can't seem to make it on oh, time to no. a very important date. Sounds like me. I can't make it in time. Battleship Godios. Battleship Godios. Boogie what loops. is this? Boogie Casual loops. Birder. Casual Demon birder. Casual birder. Okay. Dude. Echoic memory. Neat. Executive golf uh, DX. I'd like to see Flipper some gameplay. Horse burns up in smoke. <laughs> Hyper meteor. All right. Lost your marbles. A charming uh, Lee lost those marbles. Okay, here we go. More about lost your marbles. All the difference. Join Prota in oh, this boy. branching narrative adventure as she makes How's her way to the village. How's that gonna look on the screen, village, though? On a quest to find her lost dog Minty. That's the only thing, guys. Make it to the annual festival before day's end. Those look good, Domains. though. Pick pack pup. Questy All chest. right. Mm -hmm. Ratcheteer. This is a lot of. Snack. I mean, uh, these are a lot of games. Wait, you're going Zipper. so fast. I can't keep up. And Saturday edition, which tells the story I of can't John keep Cornfield, up. who finds himself the subject of public interest when a string of disappearances okay. coincide with sightings. What, how would you control it, I guess? Sky. What does Finally, the crank do? master your skills and conquer the waves. All right, arcade game wipeout. Crank and it does look cool. Water wipeout. Which will get the moment Everything has like a comic book dating. feel. We'll also be dropping some fun surprises along the way. <sighs> so many oh, amazing it's like games. Game Boy, Can but tiny. you love every single one of them? Probably not. Dude, you this is so real. And exploring brand new games. Oh, probably not. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not gonna love remember, every single one of them. Is included with your play date at no that's that's cost. real. I, I appreciate There's the realness. There's no subscription fee. They're all yours to keep. Now let's talk a little bit about the future. All right, We'd what's like up? to so introduce you to some people who are starting to work on cool things for Playdate. We partnered with narrative right, development is, company what are you Sweet doing? Baby to guide and mentor Sweet two baby. teams of up and coming developers from marginalized communities. Cool. We're working Sweet on baby. inventive and original new games for Playdate. Let's go. I'll let them tell you about it. What's Hi, happening? I'm Kim Belair and I'm the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. Sweet Baby! Our game Lost Your Marbles and I'm excited to say sweet that baby. that's not our only project that we're doing. I'm sorry, I can't stop saying Sweet Baby. This time, <laughs> we're going to be doing something It's not like Dub Baby, right? One of Sweet Baby Inc's Let's go. has always been to diversify the industry Let's by go. opportunities and support for new sweet and baby. marginalized developers. And we believe that I'm talking all over this extremely important stuff. This is really important, guys. But so, to that I end, do like the name Sweet Baby. To build two teams, led by a team of All right, that's cool. By first time and I want to see more, more games. games. <clears throat> all of your Nelson Juniors recommendation yes. dog. Yes, recommendation dog. Steel all right. Are currently in development and they're shaping up to be something pretty special. I What's going on? So, if you want to follow along for updates, Sweet Baby at Sweet Baby Inc. On Sweet Instagram Baby. And on Is Twitter. it like Sweet Baby and Ribs? Sweet Baby Barbecue. We'll we also recently heard from Hungry. someone who's already pretty familiar with making Sweet one Baby. Graphics. That's the, the name of it. Return of the Oberdin creator, Lucas Pope. Here's oh. Lucas. Oh, okay. What's this? This thing is a lot of fun. This thing is with. tiny. The perfect place, I thought, to make something that my kids might like. Less death, more laughs, basically. Hmm. So that's what I'm doing. There's no timeline. It's very quirky. It's still pretty early. But very quirky system. I want to show system. you what I've made so far. Sweet baby. When they do extreme zooms, that looks good. But when you're like seeing the, in the person's hand, it's like, wow, what is that? Okay. Hmm. All right, boom. These are very quirky games. Interesting. I, I think I think I would know I would get the feel of it if I knew more about how to play it. What? Oh, hey, what's up? Some monsters like, yo, what up? Oh man, he looks like he uh, wants something from you. He's just standing there. Nobody's talking. Oh, he just Cyclops angle management. Uh oh, yeah. Jeez Louise, there's a lot of monsters here. I guess you're helping them with their anger management. Well, that's Yo, it. that's all I got. It's not much. <laughs> that's I can't it. Say I know what I'm doing, but we'll see how it goes. Jeez Louise. That Okay, one thing I kind of noticed to this, is that people don't feel very confident about their creations in here. You're gonna like them? Uh, not really. I don't know. You guys gotta sound a little bit more confident in your in your device, guys. You gotta sell it, you know? This stuff is gonna be amazing! It's gonna be awesome! I'm like, uh, is this gonna be good? Yeah, we don't know! 
you know, this that's a hand, okay. But yeah, kind of kind of sell it to me. Schmooze it, you know, you gotta zhuzh it up a little bit. And this, okay, couple of things. It looks very nifty, but it doesn't, it looks too tiny. Happy Hilda, what is this? All right. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably gonna take this off, guys. Cause that, okay, good. I, I can't do that. Cause I'm demonetized, right? So these games look really quirky and interesting, but it looks like they might need a system seller here. A really, a real powerhouse, you know. Hmm, like so who's the audience? For the future of Playdate. How will future games be distributed? We've got some great ideas. All right, Stay ideas. Tuned. Oh, and there's one more cool thing. We I think want you can pre-order it. Able to make a game for a Playdate, and we mean it. But there are a lot of incredible storytellers out there hmm. who might not know how to code. So we built something to make development accessible to everyone. Introducing Pulp for Playdate. Pulp for Playdate. What is this? Inspired by game development environments like Adam Ledoux's Incredible Bitsy. Pulp is a brand new tool to create play okay. games using just your web that's browser. That's cool. That's right. All you need is a web browser. Make graphics, create music, use a simple scripting language, link some rooms together, and tell narrative stories super easily. Interesting. Then press a button and huh. put your new game on your play date. Wow. Pulp will be available this year and will be free. Well, that's so interesting. Look for news and updates on it soon. Thanks. Bye for now. Huh. Yes. Yeah, so exciting. Thanks, Arissa. And that's about hmm. it for this update. Hmm. Thank you so much for watching it. Interesting. It's a lot of fun for me to put together. But before we say goodbye, I'd like to bring Cable back to share one more thing with you. All right, is this a, they got a one more so, thing. It's like a direct. Now you know the play will come with a Nintendo Direct. That we're making a cool new stereo dock that we've created uh -huh. an easy game making tool called Pulp and that we have mm -hmm. some amazing mm -hmm. games being worked on for the future of Playdate. But let's get down to business and talk about what you really want to know. Yeah, what's up? First, Playdate will be priced at $179. And okay. that includes the full season of games at no extra charge. But hmm. when can you get one? Playdate will be available mm. for pre-order next month. $179. And we'll give you a week's warning before it's time. Now, don't worry. Playdate shouldn't sell out on pre-order day. Our plan is to keep orders open and send Playdates out gradually hmm. as we get them from the factory. 179. Of course, the sooner you order, the sooner you'll get yours, but we're not going to close the door on you. And that's not to say something won't go wrong in the process, so we thank oh, you in advance very... for your patience with whatever that something is. Wow, they're very... If we sell uh, way more Playdates than we planned, behind the ears. Given how constrained parts are right now due to COVID, it is a really tough time to build things. It might take a while for you to get your playdate, but we will be working constantly with the factory to adjust for demand, and we'll be talking to you every step of the way. And oh, of that's course, good. You will be able to cancel your pre-order. I'm sorry, I'm just watching this for any reason. Just keep an eye on our Twitter at Playdate for more information, and when it's pre-order day, visit Play.Date to place your pre-order. Play.Date. Okay, <sighs> interesting. That was a lot. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> To wrap things up, we want to oh, show wow. you this amazing Playdate ad that our friends at Sandwich Video made for us. We huh. think it tells the Playdate story really well. We'll see you next time. If there's a next time, thanks for watching. Wow. And uh, have a good one. Huh. This Play video date. is about a little box called Playdate. Playdate? Okay. Hang on. I got, I got my... I I've got my... Uh, it's a new thing. Plays games. Uh, I already have a thing, thing. that plays games. Me too, but this is a little different. Hmm. We wanted to try something different, and so we did the most difficult, different thing that you could possibly. Let's take another look. All right, let's see. Let me just look at this ad real quick, guys. This is... Say hello to Playdate. Yeah, you got a lot of things Ooh, going like on right cat. now. Yeah. Thanks. That means a lot. Here's huh. a hand. Playdate fits right there. There's an A button, B button, D pad, Wi Fi, hmm. Bluetooth, USB C, all the hits. <coughs> Wait, what's that thing? That? That's the crank. Crank. That's the crank, okay. Seriously, what is it? The crank. You crank it. Like this. It can control the games. It's fun. Now look at this. Hmm. The display. I'm just... I, I'm not reacting to it because it's... Like? No, but the screen is super reflective. You can even play it by candlelight. Really? Maybe. Playdate was dreamed up by this company called... Jeez. Here in Portland, they love making things. And this is the first time Maybe. they made hardware. So they got a little help from this company called... I don't know. They're over in I don't know what to think. Gasper came up with the idea for the crank. Okay, so who makes the games? Some people you've heard of, some people you haven't. You are so mysterious. I 
love it. So what are these new games? <laughs> so, wow. That's the best part. You won't know what you're getting, not until they Wi-Fi themselves into your play date. You know that feeling when <laughs> Wi-Fi? And that's what play date is all about. This is a lot of a lot of information and a lot of untraditional surprise game stuff. $179, guys. Um I don't know, man. You're in a market with a lot of you're in the market with the Nintendo Switch, you're in the market with anywhere else. And also this, every play date can be used to make your own game. Nintendo DS? What do you think? 3DS? Great. Ready for your play date? Oh, and you can also get the snap on dock with the speaker and a place to hold your pen. Oh it's God. cool stuff. But I don't know. Mmm. 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 Okay, that's it. All right, so <laughs> just end it. Um, so my, my thoughts, right? It <laughs> It's interesting. I, I one thing that kind of jumped out to me is that the lack of confidence that the people had the, while they were talking was kind of jarring. Um, yeah, this is this is this is something that you, you're excited for, something that's new, something that is going to hopefully change the world and hopefully change the way people see games, hopefully. And I just didn't, I didn't get much of that from them. Uh, it was just kind of like, oh yeah, kind of. Like, will it work? Maybe. It, we don't know. It, we have no idea. By the way, it's on $179. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This just, uh, my first impressions is just like, you know, you, you whether you know it or not, you are competing with other handheld systems. Uh, even the retro titles, like the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, like, you know, you, you'd certainly, I do see the passion. I, I do see, uh, I see where they're, they're going with it. It is different in terms of, you know, what it is. They have this cool nifty crank, it's handheld, it's hardware, you know, um, what makes it different? What's going to make it different is definitely the software. Um, and the software portion didn't look too strong. Um, you know, we live in a world of color. Um, and just the more that I think about, it, the more that I look at it, the more I go, hmm, you know, this could have used a little bit of backlight. It could have used some color. It could have used, okay, the hand crank is, is cool, but you definitely need some strong software that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else that's not something that you could possibly download on other platforms I, I would it sounds like they had a bit of an idea but maybe need to to polish it a little bit more and the asking price of 179 dollars for something that they don't feel very confident about doesn't seem very much worth it to be honest at least again to, to me to me this is just my opinion but i think maybe maybe 100 probably 100 dollars I'm not saying that's what it's worth, but for me, I'd be like, oh, maybe honestly, I don't need 75 or something, man. Because people got mobile phones, man. People got people got Android phones. You're you're competing with all that, and uh, not only are you competing with that, it seems like your target audience, I guess, would be maybe people who remember the Game Boy, and even people who remember the Game Boy probably are going to be playing Nintendo Switch. They're probably going to be playing Game Boy games, playing that type of stuff. So why would you need to convince them that this is something that they want? And I don't know, it was it was okay. Like the CEO, he seemed like everybody else, everybody there seemed like really nice and wonderful people, but I just didn't feel that confidence coming out of them, all of them. And sort of like they needed, I felt like they needed to sell me on it. Like, this is why you should care about Playdate. This is why you should, be excited about it. This is, oh my gosh, guys, this is a handheld thing. This is not like anything else. This is different. Well, here are the freaking games. This, these games are going to be freaking amazing. Blow your face out the face, right? Out the water. And I just did not get that. Um, I do hope it's a success. However, that doesn't mean I want them to fail. By no means do I ever want any game company, especially starting off. These people seem like really nice, nice guys um, and, and gals. They seem like really nice people. But I, uh, I just don't, mm, I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, everything does look cool from the dock. That was cool. A little nifty, nifty magnetic thing. You know, I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are really excited about it. But me, I, 
I, I maybe I'm just not the target audience. I, although I thought I might be. Um, but yeah, maybe. I mean, there's there's still a future to be had. You don't know what's gonna happen until it happens. So I hope I hope I wish for them. You know, a big successful launch. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully this, they can somebody some some developers can use that crank to its to its purpose. It doesn't seem like it's a type of system that you would play really long games on, but just really short, quick games. So again, they're, they're competing with a lot of a lot of people, and like you said, it is hard. They they wanted to challenge themselves, but they definitely uh, got themselves a challenge. I hope they figure I hope they figure out uh, what the play date is is best used for. Because I've just left there and I'm not 100% certain that that they feel confident and that they know. So there you have it. That's that's my take. There it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did enjoy the, the graphics in the beginning. I did, I'm did. i glad that they have developer uh, sort of, uh, hey, every, anybody can develop for this thing. Um, I, I have a feeling they're not going for the gusto, but they, they need to go for something. Because otherwise they're not going to be able to... Uh, survive um in this very very harsh market you've got xbox game pass entering the mobile market you've got the nintendo switch and you got nintendo all in there they got several years of experience and i just i'm looking to see if playdate is gonna find themselves wedged into a nice niche market and I don't know if they can do that. Hopefully they can. It does. It looks weird. It looks weird, but uh, I like it. I mean, everybody else seems nice. All right, keep repeating myself. But yeah, what do you guys think? What do you think of Playdate? What do you think of this presentation? Did you like it? Did, are you excited for the future of Playdate? Are you excited to, to get your hands or pre-order one of these uh, nifty little machines? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to thank you all so much for tuning into T-Tech Trab. Yes, again, that is T-Tech Trab signing out with an actual pretty lengthy reaction video. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, helps the channel, all that good stuff. You have a great rest of your day, and bye. Uh, 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 yeah.